Are those real? Are those contacts? Oh, no. Injections. I got them out done in uh, Brazil. Yeah. Oh, in Brazil. I'm that's saying, that's why the, I said what that's country. all the crazy, all yeah. the crazy stuff. <laughs> when I first got my eyeball tattoos, I was a little nervous. Definitely blindness and infections did cross the mind, but at the end of the day, I wanted it so bad, and I love it to this day. What are you here for, then? I'm here to know how I could make my scars rise a little more on my face. For him to do scars and having them heal so perfectly was the direction that opposite of where he was trying to go. Exactly. He wants something that's a little more defined that can be more noticeable. More prominent. Good Hypertrophic idea. scars. Yes. Thick scars. I, I want them, yeah. I also want to do my, I want to remove my nipples and my belly button. Nice nipples. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, so you want those nipples gone? I want them gone. I mean, he's got nice horizontal, he's got nice innie there. You're, you're gonna sit back down. Yeah. So what you can do is cut the belly button out and let it close up on its own, and it'll close up into nothing. So, your face. The thing is, it's, it's hard to control exactly what you're gonna get. And I think that until this becomes more of a practiced art in this country. My view is it's too unpredictable, at least in this country. Well, I'm used to people telling me, no, you can't do this, can't do that. But I just always been the one to push the button and see how far I can take it. But I still want to continue to, you know, pursue that procedure. My nose is crooked and the left nostril goes up and you can see up my nose. I was born into a family of triplets. My brother, my sister, and me, I wrestled. And when I was around eight years old, I broke my nose. Back then, it didn't really bother me. But once we got older, I just noticed you getting all the attention. Being a triplet, I was always competing with my siblings. And to see my sister getting a whole bunch of attention and me not getting any attention, I think it had a huge impact on my self-esteem. Uh -huh. I might need a tissue. First, before we talk about your surgery, if we decide at the end of this to do something, the negative thing is you can improve the straightness, but maybe not make it perfect. However, I can tell you now, no matter who touches your nose, you're always going to have that nostril asymmetry, maybe not as bad. I don't expect to be perfect. I don't expect to be like an idealized version of myself. I just want to be me. <sighs> I mean, I hear a lot of great things you're saying, and I feel good about it. And at this point, let's proceed. OK. And if there's any issues that pop up or anything, make sure you, you know, contact us. Let us know. OK. All right? Sounds good. Before my surgery, I had a crooked nose, and you could see up my nostrils. On top of that, I had major breathing issues and self-doubt. But now, since my surgery with Dr. Nassif, my nose is much straighter, my airway is wide open, and I finally have the nose I should have had. Since I was a kid, I have been wrestling with my nose, but that is a thing of the past. I was 23 years old. I'd always wanted, like, a really, really nice chest. I've definitely always had a fascination with big breasts, but all the way through high school, I was flat chested and we all watched Baywatch, so I've always wanted that Pamela Anderson look. How did that go? So there was only two plastic surgeons in town, so I chose the doctor without the consultation fee. That was it. We've heard that before. You were pretty happy. Oh, I was very happy. Happy for how long? What happened? One year, almost to the day, one popped while I was vacuuming. So what did you do? 2005, back to the same one. Okay. Got my surgery. A week later, this side was just mostly red. This side was starting to look infected. So I called his office and he said he was a week out. He didn't say come right in? Mm -mm. And knowing that you may have an infection. So I think it boils down to this. Implants versus no implants. And I already, I, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know you're bing, 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 bing. You want implants. <laughs> oh, the scars don't turn you off? No. So your immune system, within a week, could decide to encapsulate if I do the plan with implants. It's much safer without breast implants. This may sound crazy, but I feel like my attitude also has to do a lot with my immune system. When I have a bad attitude, I get sick. It, it's just something that I would rather risk in the long run than to not give it a chance. Before my surgery, my breasts look like they could be in a freak show. I hid my deformed and dented breast to the point where I've never really been naked in front of my husband. But now, thanks to Dr. Debro, I've got perfectly round, large breasts, and I'm feeling sexier than ever. There's no more hiding these girls.